Space Mars Helicopter Flight Test Promises Wright Brothers Moment for NASA NASA will attempt to send a miniature helicopter buzzing over the surface of Mars on Monday in what would be the first powered, controlled flight of an aircraft on another planet. Landmark achievements in science and technology can seem humble by conventional measurements. The Wright brothers' first controlled flight in the world of a motor-driven airplane, near Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, in 1903 covered just 120 feet in 12 seconds. A modest debut is likewise in store for NASA's twin-rotor, solar-powered helicopter Ingenuity. If all goes to plan, the four-pound whirligig will slowly ascend straight up to an altitude of 10 feet above the Martian surface, hover in place for 30 seconds, then rotate before descending to a gentle landing on all four legs. While the mere metrics may seem less than ambitious, the airfield for the interplanetary test flight is 173 million miles from Earth on the floor of a vast Martian basin called Jezero Crater. Success hinges on Ingenuity executing the pre-programmed flight instructions using an autonomous pilot and navigation system. The moment our team has been waiting for is almost here, Ingenuity project manager Mimi Ong said at a recent briefing at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory JPL near Los Angeles. Download the NBC News app for breaking news and politics. NASA itself is likening the experiment to the Wright brothers' feet 117 years ago, paying tribute to that modest, but monumental first flight by having affixed a tiny swath of winged fabric from the original Wright flyer under Ingenuity's solar panel. The robot rotorcraft was carried to the red planet strapped to the belly of NASA's Mars rover Perseverance a mobile astrobiology lab that touched down on February 18 in Chesjezero Crater after a nearly seven-month journey through space to search for traces of ancient life on the planet. Although Ingenuity's flight test is set to begin around 3.30 a.m. ET on Monday, data confirming its outcome is not expected to reach JPL's mission control until around three hours later. NASA also expects to receive images and video of the flight that mission engineers hope to capture using cameras mounted on the helicopter and the Perseverance rover, which will be parked 250 feet away from Ingenuity's flight zone. If the test succeeds, Ingenuity will undertake several additional, lengthier flights in the weeks ahead, though it will need to rest four to five days in between each to recharge its batteries. NASA prepares to launch helicopter Ingenuity on Mars. It doesn't have a self-writing system, so if we do have a bad landing, that will be the end of the mission, Ong said. NASA hopes Ingenuity will pave the way for aerial surveillance of Mars and other destinations in the solar system, such as Venus or Saturn's moon Titan. While Mars possesses much less gravity to overcome than Earth, its atmosphere is just 1% as dense, presenting a special challenge for aerodynamic lift. To compensate, engineers equipped Ingenuity with rotor blades that are larger 4 feet long and spin more rapidly than would be needed on Earth for an aircraft of its size. The planned flight was delayed for a week by a technical glitch during a test spin of the aircraft's rotors on April 9. NASA said that issue has since been resolved.